Okay, team. So I went ahead and uh, was just reviewing the chart for Tesla after this week's um, uh, crazy sell-off. And uh, I just thought it was really interesting. And, and if you recall from last weekend's video, we had a uh, bull case of a reversal up away from uh, 2863, excuse me, 286 toward 294. Uh, then higher to the 10-day, uh, 30-minute point of control at 303. So that would have been uh, that would have been what right around here. Or so, All right. Um, alternatively, we had a uh, alternative thesis or a bear breakdown uh, below 277.91 toward the one-year daily uh, higher time frame point of control. Well, based on uh, the chart we have in front of us, obviously we can see what actually played out. Uh, Tesla did in fact close down another 2.51% today. And what I want to point out is that not only did we close down, but we closed, what, less than a buck away from the edge of the expected move. We actually came in and tagged the edge of the expected move on Friday. Looks like we closed right on it. Excuse me, Thursday, we broke below it, closed right on it, and then we actually uh, were able to close uh, Friday right, pretty much right on it. Uh, so this is a situation where uh, that's that's the power of doing these um, these theses here, where we're looking at the bullish case and both the bearish case for these stocks, because it gives you a way to trade these. Right? Uh, you could have uh, easily put a butterfly right an option butterfly on this lower edge of the expected move and you would have you would have cashed out that would have been you know four or five hundred six hundred percent return but anyway that's last last week's business that's old news the uh stock i'm looking to review for this week is adp or automatic data processing incorporated now i went ahead and i already started putting in some lines uh some important chart lines to help uh help the video move on but if you recall from last week's video, again, I'm using a volume profile. Um, the way this works is it creates a, a distribution curve. The red line is the point of control. Lower value area extreme is the yellow line. Uh, lower yellow line and then upper value area extreme. And the idea is that when price is above the upper value area extreme, we want to play bearish toward it and then look for continuation toward the point of control. And vice versa, if we're below the lower value area extreme, we want to play uh, a bullish up toward the point of control, where in that case we would be neutral, with a potential to trend higher toward that upper VA. So now that you're all caught up from last week's video, uh, I was looking at first the expected move for ADP, and the, the first thing that I the first thing that I see here on a uh, a uh, one year daily chart is look at how range bound this this underline has been. We have a low at a dollar ninety two or one hundred ninety two, and we have well at least a new high, but I would still consider this a range because we only held it for a few days. But we could you know we could put it here. So look at look at that channel for this that ADP has been making this entire year. Now, uh, as far as for our bull case and our bake uh, and our bear case, right? So on our one year daily, I mean, you know, I'm looking at something where my point of control is down here at the 207. I'm I'm thinking that we're going to continue heading heading uh, south toward that point of control. Uh, I think there's a really really good chance that especially if the overall market the s p 500 continues to trend lower as it has been right we're in this we're in this uh we're, we're in this bear market here and you can see that it it has uh overall been trending lower right i'm 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 thinking that we're going to continue doing so and and i think adp is not going to be able to escape the uh the correlation it has to the S&P 500. So uh, for the uh, bull, uh, for the bear case, uh, I'm looking for a, a pullback to the 207 and then potentially further down to test the uh, all time lows at a at 192. Now, the bear, the uh, the bull case, as far as uh, near term, 
I am looking, or I should say, I want to I want to create a bull case also, but more importantly, I want to use that short term on a 10 day, 30 minute chart to actually take my my bearish entry. And you can see how many times has this bounced off either the 20 or the 50 EMA once, twice, broke across here three times broke here four times right so so my my bull case my near term bull case is going to be a pullback to at least the value area extreme here at 245 which is also the the 50 EMA and that's where I'm going to look to get short that's where I'm going to look to 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 get, to get short and look at uh uh trending down to test the lows uh now you're probably asking yourself well rich that's great now how do we trade this and so I'm glad you asked. So to the trade tab we go. Um, and I was looking at the options here in this. Now, this is this is a difficult stock to to trade. And, and one of the main reasons is that um, the there's just not a lot of open interest. Right. You can see just there's nothing. Um, so that, that makes it a little bit difficult to trade. Now, like I said, in in my case, what what I would what I would recommend doing, what, what I would do as far as uh, looking to trade this is I would actually wait but i will set an alert to know that adp is heading to the 50 ema on 10 day 30 minute chart which is my bull case right and then once that alert goes off i'm looking to get short now if you want to get aggressive by all means let's do it right let's look at what a trade will look like you know aggressively now in this case i probably want to go maybe 40 days out because i'm because i'm again I'm, I'm a little early to this trade but we can still use the same strikes right we can still use the 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 245 240 puts it's a it's a five dollar wide strike a uh, five dollar wide spread and right now the market's closed but this is looking to fill for you know three dollars thirty cents i mean that's that's okay Right, that's a that's an okay price for for this spread. Um, you know, maybe I want to try and get a little aggressive. Maybe I want to maybe try and fill this for ten cents cheaper, right? And so we can see here that basically what I'm doing here is my max profit is a is one hundred and eighty dollars on a one on one contract. My max loss is three hundred twenty dollars, or what I'm paying for this debit spread. So looking at that from a uh, probability of success, and a lot of people don't actually know how to do this, but looking at this at a probability of success, I'm just going to divide that out. So in other words, I have a 56% chance of making one penny or more on this trade, right? Because all I did is I took the uh, amount I could make on it and divided it by the price I paid for it and multiplied by it 100. So I got about a 56% chance. Eh, it's better than a coney flip. You know what? Let's do it. It's aggressive, right? Like I said, the better entry is waiting for that for that short-term bull case to, to play out. But I'm going to go ahead and try and fill this on Monday. This is in my uh, demo account for the for the um, the portfolio that uh, we're, uh, we're, um, we're playing around with. And uh, I'll go ahead and send this. Um, and what will happen is I will probably have to uh, work this order um, maybe when the market opens on Tuesday, um, but uh, it is it is working. So either what will happen is either A, the market will, when it opens on Tuesday, it'll go ahead and fill me at 320, or I might have to come in here uh, probably from my cell phone and just adjust it, maybe unlock it, and then resend it at whatever the mid price is for uh, the trade. So. Uh, let me know what uh, what's your feedback on this trade. I mean, uh, you know, comment below. Would would you be one? Uh, you know, could you could you sit on could you sit on your hands and and wait for this to to come back to the two forty four and then get short, or are you gonna you know follow follow this follow this trade here and get short now and just hope that we uh, continue to uh, tank lower? Uh, leave your comments below. Also, do not forget, please comment below the next stock that you want me to feature on next week's video. Um, there's been a lot of uh, really good talk uh, on the street as far as what I'm hearing. I've got some ideas, but I wanna, I wanna know what you wanna, what you want me to, to feature on my next week's video. So have a great uh, long weekend, everyone. Bye-bye.